Mrif Sua. Welcome to Royal Knuping Hospital, the leader in healthcare near you. For today's topic, we will discuss about diabetes in pregnancy. We will learn more about what is it and what is the solution. Let's meet our professional doctor, Aline, all together. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. <laughs> so for today's topic, we will discuss about diabetes in pregnancy. So the first question I have for you is, what is diabetes in children? Can you explain more about it? Sure. Diabetes mellitus is a disorder in which the body cannot produce enough or respond normally to insulin, causing blood sugar to be abnormally high. And gestational diabetes or GDM is a diabetes which happened during pregnancy. Thank you so much for your answer, doctor. Can you please tell us more why is it happening during pregnancy? Okay, so the hormone produced by the placenta prevent the body from using insulin effectively. So glucose builds up in the blood instead of being absorbed by the cells. Unlike other types of diabetes, gestational diabetes is not caused by lack of insulin, but it caused by other hormones produced during pregnancy that can weaken the effectiveness of insulin. This is insulin resistant. But gestational diabetes would disappear following delivery. What is the risk of the issue? Can you please tell us more? Mm -hmm. So although any woman can develop GDM during pregnancy, some of the factors that may increase the risk include the following first, overweight or obesity, second, family history of diabetes, next, having given birth of the infant, uh, weighing greater than 9 pounds, and last, age, that is to say, women who are older than 30 years old may have the greater risk than the younger women. Thank you for your answer. Uh, now let's move on to the next question. Okay. What is the screening test? Okay, in pregnant women not known to have diabetes, GDM testing should be performed at 24 to 28 weeks of gestation. They can get glucose tolerance tests by drinking sugar and measuring sugar level after that. Thank you so much. So I have another question. What is the proper treatment for the patient? Uh -huh. So the treatment for gestational diabetes, we focus on keeping blood sugar to be in a normal range. Treatment may include special diet, exercise combining with daily blood sugar monitoring and insulin injection if needed. So mostly on keeping well control of blood sugar, we need a good cooperation from the patient on their diet and on their insulin injection. Also, in this hospital, we provide the pink premium clinic which has multidisciplinary team that include the obstetricians, nutritionists, nurses, pharmacists, and endocrinologists to take care of gestational diabetes patient to get the best point of care. Thank you, doctor. So this is the last question of the topic. So after the GDM, do the pregnancy still be the patient of the diabetes? Okay, well, normally gestational diabetic symptoms would disappear following delivery. Anyway, 50% likelihood of women with gestational diabetes will develop diabetes within 20 years. So you should come for postpartum evaluation for your blood sugar at 6 to 12 weeks after delivery. Thank you so much, doctor, for your answer. It is very helpful and thank you for your time today. Our topic today is really special and I hope everyone will like about this topic. Thank you for having us today. Thank you very much.